Punch off and back with insane content! So as I was in need of new tires for the biannual inspection, I decided to buy a set of wheels including tires instead of a set of tires alone. The other day my girlfriend told me I could easily afford to lose an inch. So unlike other big car YouTubers like Shmi, Tavarish or Stratman, I, the Hunter Hoffman, decided to go with smaller wheels. She's so supportive. So I present to you my 530M wheels wrapped in Michelin Pilot Super Sports. Pretty dope, right? To provide for a bit more content and protection, I have also ceramic coated these wheels. Let me show you how that's done. So we start out by washing the wheels, obviously with the two bucket method and my trusted wheel woolies and wash mitt. And note that by no means I'm a detailer, let alone a professional one. Alright, so first off we're going to spray down the wheels with a pressure washer. For the purpose of this video, I'll be focusing on the front left wheel. After a good rinse, apply some Iron X to remove any iron contaminants and spray the wheels down again after letting the Iron X sit for a couple of minutes. Once sprayed down, thoroughly wash the wheels with your wash mitt and wheel woolies. After a final rinse, we're going to take the wheels off the car and prepare them for the ceramic coating. With a wire wheel, remove any surface rust on the inside of the hub contact area to have the wheels as clean as possible. Afterwards, give the inside of the wheels a thorough wash as well. So after having cleaned and dried the wheel thoroughly, I welcome you to my professional detailer area. So 
So now we're going to use a clay bar with detator spray to further remove any contaminants and pollutants from the surface of the paint. Note that after using this clay bar on your wheels, to never use it again on the paint of your car. So after having clay barred the wheel, we're going to give the wheels a polish. I did this without a machine with a medium slash light compound polish. So as you can see, the wheel is now as clean as possible and almost ready for its first layer of ceramic coating. First, however, we're going to apply this eraser by CarPro. It acts as a degreaser. Apply some on the wheel and wipe it off afterwards. Alright, so the wheel is now ready for its first layer of ceramic coating. So I'll be using this application glove to apply C Quartz Deluxe Ceramic Coating. Simply apply the coating to the application glove and make sure to work in small areas at a time. And yes, looking back now, that's a bit too much. After having applied the first layer, give it a minute or two before wiping it down with a clean microfiber towel. Repeat the process on the inside of the spokes. And finally, the face of the wheel. And obviously, don't forget to do the badge of the wheel as well. Mm -hmm. 
Note that off camera, I have applied another layer of the C Quartz Deluxe Ceramic Coating one hour after applying the first layer. So after letting it cure for the night, I went back to apply a third and final layer of coating, being the C Quartz Gliss. This acts as a top coating and can be used on top of the initial ceramic coating. The process is exactly the same. Note that I have washed the application glove and used a clean microfiber towel to make sure these were clean of any residual ceramic coating. And take a look at my homie's awesome Subaru Forester, rocking the BBS wheels. And after having it wiped down for the final time, that's it. Now I repeat this painstaking process again for the other three wheels, but through the magic of editing and time lapses, this will only take a second. To summarize, thoroughly clean the wheels with the help of Iron X, remove any surface rust on the wheel help contact area, rinse the wheels off and dry them, decontaminate the wheels with a clay bar and detainer spray, give the wheels a quick polish, degrease the wheels, apply a layer of the deluxe ceramic coating, repeat step 7 after at least 1 hour, apply a layer of the Gliss top coating at least half a day after the last ceramic coating, and let it cure for at least 24 hours. And that's all the wheels done. There's only one more thing left to say. Alright guys, did I just assume their gender? Thanks for watching and see you next time!